So can you make money day trading? Well, I wanted to know that, so I went and tested this, and I did it for a couple of years. And in this video, I'm gonna let you know my experience and what I think uh, you can possibly do and the risks and the profits and all that stuff, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing is when I started day trading, I had a quite a bit of uh, savings. Uh, and then as time progressed over maybe a year, I'd say it, things went really badly. Uh, I lost most of it, um, probably mostly because I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to learn on the go. I thought I could do it, learn it on my own, which uh, was a bad idea. Plus the pandemic happened at the same time, which was really weird. So there was that big dip as I was, so the whole thing was a big disaster. So does that mean day trading is um, a bad thing? No. Uh, it's not, but it, it is to illustrate it's extremely risky and you need to be able to stomach it. And if you can't, then there's um, maybe other side hustles that you might want to try instead. But that said, there has been some positive things that have happened. So let me talk about that. So over the last, uh, now I'm, as I'm talking, it's March, no, sorry, it's January uh, 2024. And over the last 10 months, I've been investing in Bitcoin and different types of Bitcoin, uh, Ether usually, Bitcoin, Solana, things like that. And because there was a big crash uh, about a year ago, and now things, Bitcoin has recovered uh, probably almost half its value, crypto is going up and I've started to make good returns on the crypto. But I didn't do it with day trading. I did it with uh, dollar cost averaging. So what I would do is just simply, I had an automatic payment come out every week and I would purchase more and more and more every week starting about back a year ago. I didn't try to guess where the bottom was. I just kind of started investing as it was dropping and then I noticed it kept dropping and I just kept investing and then slowly things started to go up, 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 up. And then I kept, so it's called dollar cost averaging. So I took the highs and the lows I didn't have to worry about finding the bottom. I didn't do any day trading. And now it's significantly much higher than when I started a year ago. So I would say dollar cost averaging is a really smart thing to do. And uh, as for day trading, now I have friends that have uh, done quite well with it. And I think there is a lot of potential. I've seen them make a lot of money, um, but I can't personally say that I've had a lot of success at it, but um, what I would say, if you are going to try it, start small. Okay, start with just a little bit and make sure you take a course before you start. And there is a tool below that will help you with if you want to try day trading. And slowly over time, as you get better, progress. Now, if you're the type of personality that has like, say, if, say if you're a bit of a gambler, like if you go to a play poker or you go to if anything like that and you have trouble losing money, in a poker game, let's say, if you really lose your mind and then you continue to play, 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 and then you lose more, then you play, play, play. Like if you get on a, I think that's called on tilt. If you get on tilt, um, then day trading might not be good for you because there are days uh, where you're going to have bad days, you're going to have good days. So um, for example, let's say you day traded for 30 days, or let's say you day traded for uh, 20 days because you can't day trade on the weekend, let's say. Let's say you just did it on the business days when the stock market was open. Okay, let's, you're probably going to have, uh, on average, even the best day traders, they usually have, say, two or three down days in a week and then two up days. And then the next week, they might have one down day and then four up days. And then the third week, they might have three down days and two up days. Like it's, it's so overall for the whole month, they'll count up their amount of down days, their amount of up days, and they'll be at a profit by the end of the month. If they're doing it right so they're not worried about the odd day where they might have lost money long as they've made money on certain days and overall over 30 days they they've come out on top and made a lot of money hopefully that makes sense so they will have down days they will have up days so if you realize that then you might be okay with day trading so again um it is risky and um but it's not um but it is to have a lot of upside too but just make sure you know what you're doing. Start small. So anyways, there's a link below. You can uh, try it out. And um, dollar cost averaging is definitely uh, what I like doing. And that's my take on it. So hopefully that helps. And good luck. And make sure you check out the other side hustles in the report. Because there's some good ones. Affiliate marketing is still my number one favorite. And you can learn that in the uh, dossier.